Have you ever been building a Lego creation and just wondered, can I make this larger? Can I build this? Do I have the parts for this? What would it even look like? Well, if you've wondered this and you don't have the parts for it, check out Bricklink Studio. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about Bricklink Studio. This is an amazing feature that allows you to create a model online of any Lego creation you could have possibly imagined. You can pull parts right from Bricklink. It will generate instructions, generate a part list, so you can actually buy the parts you don't have to create this model and bring it to life. I'm just gonna get into Bricklink now and show you what you can do with this modeling. It's kind of like Minecraft, but for Lego. Welcome to the Bricklink Studio section. In this video, I'm going to discuss the tabs within this studio section on Bricklink. I'm not necessarily going to do a tutorial on how to build designs and creations. I will leave links in the description to helpful videos that will help you create and make any creation you could think of using Bricklink Studio. First is the gallery section. This is a great area where you could see popular builds that other users have created. Some of these builds, you can even download them to edit them. You could even create a wanted list with the parts for them if you wanted to create them yourselves. And other ones are just for display, but you can view images of them. Then you have this My Studio area. This is where your creations would appear. The next tab here is the Download tab. This is actually where you can download Studio 2.0 right on your desktop or computer, and you can then start creating designs. I can't believe I didn't start this sooner. I started working on a few things, so I just wanted to share this information and let you know that you could create Lego designs with Studio 2.0. Then we have the Studio Form tab. This is a helpful area where you could find answers to questions you and other users may have. It's pretty much a glorified FAQ page, and it is quite helpful. I've been reading through some of them, and I need to do a lot more research before I'm ready to actually give a tutorial about this Studio program. Right here is the Bricklink Designer Program tab. It was within the Studio section on Bricklink, but now it has moved over to the Program section. At the time I screen recorded this, they did not have the Program section, so I'll definitely cover that at some point in time, and this will be within that. But pretty much their Designer Program is where they have crowdfunded sets that builders have created, people vote on them, and then they turn it into a real Lego set. So it's pretty cool, and there's some awesome unique sets in there that every once in a while they sell i think five at a time here's an actual look into bricklink studio and what it looks like this is not a tutorial video to show you how to actually build and create things i'm still learning it myself and hopefully one day i could create a video to help you but in a moment i'm going to show you some helpful tabs and resources you can use and even helpful videos on youtube that were made by designers to help walk you through this program and get you started on it overall i think it's pretty cool Again, I'm still learning with it, but you could select parts, connect them together, change their colors, change orientations, move them around your build plate, increase the size of the build plate, and pull parts right off of Bricklink as well. So it's very cool, and really the combinations of creations are unlimited. And finally, we have the Studio Help tab. This tab is very helpful and important. It's called Help, so it obviously would be helpful. But there's great information in here, such as this. This is Boone, he was on LEGO Masters, and there's a playlist on his YouTube channel to walk you through Bricklink Studio. Very helpful videos, check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. Hello LEGO fans! When you do open up Bricklink Studio, they do have a tutorial where you're building, mine was a snail, it might change for different users, but you're just putting parts together and they're showing you the basic features to get you started. His playlist helps, so check those out. Again, links are in the description. That's all for this video. Bricklink Studio seems pretty awesome, and I'm starting to design things with it. Once I get more involved, I'll definitely post more videos about that. But check it out for yourself. I just wanted to pass this information on to let people know it exists, and pass it on to your builders. Let them know, and then they could create things online and order parts right on Bricklink.